Alrighty, I've been having a pretty good run with the um, carry lens for the F14, so I thought I'd record this as an action mission. Not a tutorial, but some people might pick up some things um, for a, a training at the moment. Um, first of all, everything off the bat is 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 all right here. This instant action mission, read all this, and you've pretty much got everything. Uh, very, not too much dissimilar from the Hornet to be honest, uh, with a couple of exceptions, um, which I'll go through. Uh, first of all, on the upwind, uh, the first difference, wing sweep, 68 degrees. If you look at the wind, sweep, wind gauge, gauge there, 68 degrees at the bottom. That's wing swept back at the moment they're out. We're going to sweep the wings back. Upwind leg, they're back. Um, I hadn't done this originally and I don't know if it's essential but I have seen videos life of them breaking set up like that so looks like that's the thing and that's the way we're doing it hook down that will be automatic uh, when I start this mission um, and the same as the Hornet 350 300 to 350 on the upwind and at the break and 800 feet um, break the same as the Hornet Throttles idle, speed brake extended. Uh, the difference comes here, the wings go out uh, to 20 degrees, landing gear down at 280, flaps down to 225. DLC, now this um, DLC is, we'll put some spoilers up here on the wing, although I'll extend out of here. It's actually activated by the countermeasure button on your stick to select it when it says DLC selected, it's done by that. Um, and then I've got a scroll wheel to extend those spoilers. It looks like the A10 um, spoilers when it comes in. So they will manage your speed and your angle of attack and everything by using that. Um, it says selected. It doesn't say to use them. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer really not. I need to learn a bit more about it. Um, I'll learn a bit more practice with it uh, to get that right. But I was using it for so long without it. But that's what they do. So you, you, when I say countermeasure button, when your flaps are down, that countermeasure guns the um, DLC selection button. So as long as your flaps are down below mill power, that will activate. I might show you on deck if I land how they work. Um, the rest are the same as the Hornet, distance from carrier, make the turn, and I'll throw if desired, I do not desire because I like manual. Um, 450 feet up to about this point, so you come for 800 to 450, 380, land. Um, the hardest bit's just coming out of the turns I find. You got to push the throttle on here to keep the thing, then you got to pull it back and Get the right angle. Handles like a tank, so if you're not lined up coming out of there, you can struggle a bit. Alright, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is put those wings back. Wings going back, I'm trimming up because that's putting my nose down as I do it. It's back. Alright, speed pull back. There are friendlies, Hawkeye, 11 o'clock, 8 miles. So, uh, pause it there actually. This pitch light of 5 degrees and this velocity vector. This velocity vector on the 5 degree pitch ladder means you're a level flight. Not here. So, you pretty much ignore this, <laughs> um, or else it will kill you. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but because my, my velocity drip, uh, velocity vector drops below it on a turn, still seems to hold um, right. But five degrees is what I'm aiming for. Um, over here, that's level flight to zero, so you can sort of keep your eye on that as well and uh, manage it that way. Uh, you get your altitude heading here, so a thousand, we're at about just under. Um, the E bracket when it comes up is going to be a reference of this person, not the velocity vector. So the E bracket you're going to want here, not here. 
um, which is the main differences to the F-18 is this HUD symbology. If you follow this, you're going to die. Um, down here, I am way fast. I'm about 450. I want it down to 350. Fuck. So you want the inside one. Um, this I wish wasn't there, blacked out, but that spins around as you go. All right, here we go. I'm going to take all the throttle off and land this thing. Come back now to 400. Keep 800 height, trim up a bit. Looks down by default in this mission. Brakes out, wings out, dropping that nose a bit too much. Gonna go gear down, gonna go flaps down. And I'm gonna engage my DLC. Bit far, way too high. Came up too much there. So I keep my nose down. Drop my speed back to bring the e bracket down. That might have been a bit high, tell you the truth, rather than too high than too low. All right, I'm going to make the turn now. Steady base turn. The speed up. That e bracket's in the right spot now. I am too high, not too bad though. Just gotta bring the make it a bit too hard, I think. Oh, it should be right. Gotta get that height down there. Okay, come down now, speed up. Be unstable. Speed down. Speed management coming out of those turns is something hard. And I want th my velocity vector about three quarters of the way up the deck. Way too fast. Dropping speed off now. Got to bring that velocity e bracket down. And down. Let's see how just likes that one. Comment. It's like three wire. I guess if Chester doesn't say anything, that means he's happy, right? Came in a little crooked. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, that um, my e bracket was way too high. Had too much speed coming out of that turn. But I'd much prefer to have too much speed than not enough. So. If you have too less speed, your uh, wings will be going all over the place um, trying to stabilise and you get a lot of swing. Those um, I had out, <laughs> incidentally, so that was, um, had them fully out, I didn't think they were that far extended out, I didn't want them that much, but those are uh, the um, what do you call it? DLC slats. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that helped a bit. Um, all good.